Hello and welcome to my quick review of the AP Black Ceramic Double Balance Wheel, courtesy of my good friend Narfi on Instagram. The watch goes by reference 15416 CE and was released in 2020, four years after the first double balance wheel. For those unfamiliar with the skeleton, it gets its name from the fact that it has a double balance wheel escapement, which was a world's first at the time. As far as modern watches go, I think the double balance might be the most iconic skeleton there is. You get a clear view of the inner workings and that golden double balance wheel is a striking joy to look at. Complementing gold hands and hour markers mean that legibility is not as bad as one may think. For my friend, this is the ultimate daily watch. It's not something you get bored of and the fact that it comes in the scratch resistant black ceramic is the icing on the cake. As someone who's not really into skeleton watches though, this is a piece I enjoy admiring but wouldn't want to daily. While it may seem like the coolest watch on one day, it's also a complicated mess on another. This brings me onto the design and finishing of the skeleton itself. I'm sure it's a controversial opinion, but I find the double balance wheel design a bit overrated. Yes, the double balance wheel itself is stunning, but beyond that, it feels like AP's designers just scribbled a bunch of random lines. Full disclosure, I'm not a designer, but I feel like the likes of a Laureato skeleton and Tonda PF skeleton have a better flow to them. That being said, I think the double balance wheel is far better than both these watches. That is largely due to that iconic octagonal case and the best-in-class bracelet. This black ceramic version steps things up to another level with that high contrast shine. While it sounds vain, there is also that factor of desirability that makes the 15416 a joy on the wrist. Wearing a watch that is the ultimate grail of many others does feel special. Wearability-wise, the 41mm double balance wheel feels fine on my 17.5cm wrist. It's relatively thin at 9.7mm, and it's a comfortable weight thanks to the ceramic. For reference, ceramic feels significantly lighter than steel, but not as feather light as titanium. So is this 15416CE the ultimate daily watch? For those that like their skeletons and live in relatively safe countries, definitely. The double balance wheel is in my opinion the most iconic modern skeleton, and the ceramic elevates it to another level. For the boomers like me who aren't into skeletons, I'd say that the Black Ceramic Perpetual is just that bit better. I've of course done a video review on that watch before, but it's currently away being serviced after the crown mysteriously fell out. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed. There's more cool stuff coming, including new episodes of my video podcast. Thank you.